that is our whole purpose to be here. That's this virtual reality that we call the physical universe is a, is a reality that was created just so that we pieces of consciousness could have more useful choices, choices that would help us grow more meaningful choices, choices with consequences. Before consciousness just sat around and communicated with each other. That's what consciousness does. You know, it transmits, it receives, it, it communicates. That's, you know, it's aware. We were aware of each other and aware of our environment. And there's not a lot of growth in that. There's a little growth in that, but it's, it's not much. Well, as far as growing, you need to make significant choices. You're not just who am I going to talk to next and what am I going to say, but you know, real significant choices. So this virtual reality was created as a what I call an entropy reduction um, um, virtual reality. You know, it's a it's a uh, like a like a flight simulator. You know, it's a it's an entropy entropy reduction simulator, if you will, for us pieces of consciousness to make choices in. And by those choices, we evolve. And evolution means that we, we lower entropy. But what that really boils down to, it's a long kind of logical process, but what that boils down to is caring about other people, not being so self-centered. So it's kind of the opposite of where materialism mm -hmm. takes you. you know, instead of the clockwork universe where everything is separate and nothing, nothing really matters, there's no particular purpose involved, there is a purpose. And that's to evolve, evolve the quality of your consciousness, lower the entropy of your consciousness, or become love, become more caring, make it about other, not just about self. Um, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And why? Because consciousness is an information system, and information systems evolve by creating information, which is lowering their entropy. So it's just the nature of our system. It's not that the system decided that would be a good idea, but it's just the fundamental nature of our system. It is a system that is evolving. It can de-evolve. It can evolve. If it de-evolves too far, then there's no information. Everything's random. So order is, is lower entropy. Uh, things that, have, that matter, things that have uh, an ability to... to to make changes, an ability to do work is what they say in physics, but it's a, you know, it, it's ability to make a difference. You have that through order, not through randomness. So the system, just a natural system, can evolve and lower its entropy, or it can de-evolve and basically die if it de-evolves too far. So it's just evolving, and we are pieces of that system. We're pieces of consciousness of that, uh, that system. So this larger conscious system is an information system. We're a piece of it. We're all together. And the way we learn best is by being in this virtual reality and interacting with each other. It's about our relationships with each other, how we treat each other. But the reason for that is the way we evolve is, to, is by the choices we make. And we have to make those choices at, at the fundamental place that we are. In other words, it has to be an authentic choice of ours that we make because we've grown to that level of being able to make that choice. And if you had the knowledge of how the system worked, then your intellect would get in and would start gaming the system. Oh, I know I should act like this. So, okay, I'll act that way. But the problem is acting and behaving really isn't what it's about. It's about being, it's about, it's not about acting kind. It's about being kind. And there's a real big difference between those two. The person who's acting kind may be easier to be around, but they're not lowering their entropy much. They're acting. It doesn't really change who they are. And when they get into a different situation where maybe nobody's watching or, or where they're really pressed very hard, then all that, all that ugliness is still in there. You see, they haven't grown up. They've just behaving better. So if we knew about, you know, why we're here and what we're doing, 
we would tend to game the system by intellectually trying to be that and then feeling like we're very successful because our behavior kind of mirrors the way we're supposed to be, you know, and, and uh, that won't help. That doesn't help us grow up. That would just be another trap where we would, we would be nicer to each other. And I guess that would be polite, but we wouldn't really evolve much. We wouldn't, we wouldn't change very much. You really have to change at the being level, not at the intellectual level. It's not about acting. It's about being. So that's much better if every time you start without any memory of why you're here or what's going on or what you did before, and you just start making choices which reflect the real you inside. Those things you do are just an expression of you and who you are. And some people still try to act their way through life by being who they think they should be. But usually that's very high stress. You know, that's very, uh, you know, by the time you, you've done that for enough years, you get kind of neurotic going down that path because you can't ever really be yourself. You're always being who you think you should be. And you probably always feel that you're never quite there. It's, it's not a, you know, it's not a good route. It's not a good, good path to take. That's a path of stress and eventually a path of probably anger at yourself for not being good enough and other kinds of things. So we don't want to do that. We just want to be authentic and just be ourselves, who we are. And then we want to look at that and say, is that good? Is that low entropy or not? And if it's not, then we need to change it. We need to change who we are. And that's not easy. Changing who you are takes some effort. It takes some real strong focus to do that. But that's how we grow is by changing how we are. And that's why I gave this historical example in the beginning. You know, we as a, as, as a species have changed. We're not the same people that we were in the early 1800s. You know, we're, we don't have those same attitudes. We don't make those same choices. And it's not that we're pretending to be better. We really are better. We've really grown yeah. up a lot. There's, there's really three paths toward growing up. And one of them is, is the path of surrender, where you just say, oh, there is something bigger than me here. It's not just me. Okay, that's, the, that's kind of the materialist viewpoint. It's all a big machine. I'm in the machine. And it's really me against the world. And, you know, that's not, that's not profitable. But the surrender says, oh, there's something bigger than me. There's something that is beyond just me. You know, there's something about morality and ethics that is not just about individual behavior. It's about who you are. You know, it's about the quality of you as a human being. And that can be done by surrendering to this, these higher ideals or higher principles and, and just kind of live in the moment and be yourself observe the results of your choices and the consequences of your choices and then try to do better from from that you know and that's a good way to to grow up there's another path that's called the the path of uh, good deeds and that's where you try to be as helpful as possible to everybody you know you give and but again you can do that intellectually oh i should be helpful therefore all i will that's acting kind you know, but there's a difference between that and being kind. So you really have to be it, not just yeah. act it. And the last one is the you call the warrior's path. And that is where you, you uh, kind of find your fears and get rid of them. You know, you, you, you just work on it. You put effort into it, which you use your intellect to do that. But your intellect there is, is just a partner. It's not like you need to let your intellect go. Your intellect is good. We need an intellect. You know, that's what, uh, you know, enables us to go home and live in a nice house with heat in the winter and cool in the summer. You know, that intellect has done a lot of wonderful things for us. So it's not that you don't need it. It's just you can't run your entire life yeah. that way. It's not about just acting. It's about being. You also have another part of you that is who you really are not just the way you act or the way you behave. It's, it's deeper than your behavior. It's who you are at the core. And I call that the being level. You know, it's, it's who you be. 
poor English, but it makes 100%. the point. You know, yeah. it's it's the yeah, it's that's that's what you have to grow up. That's where the growth is. That's where the, the quality is. So it's yeah. It wasn't that those people back in the time of colonialism uh, were. Uh, you know, it's it's not that they were awful people. They just hadn't grown to the point that they thought that taking other people's stuff, you know, was a bad idea. You know, it, uh, they just didn't see it that way. You know, we're big, we're strong, we're advanced, we're superior, and we'll just come take you over. And then, no, oh, we'll build you a railroad and we'll we'll make schools and we'll teach you to be like us. Well, that's hugely arrogant. So that was the attitude <clears throat> and who they hurt and how many people they killed in the process. Well, wasn't all that important. That was just part of the price to pay. So, yeah, they, uh, you know, that's how they were. That was them at the core. Got it. That wasn't just their in intellect. That was the way those people were. So now we're different. And I'm glad of that. I see that as a real... It was a real positive thing.